Today is today is Thursday. You need to go to school. Point it at Zealand. Hold it. Should we go finish making breakfast? Sure. Come on. This is our breakfast. I got the toast. This is the fridge. <laughs> How many grapes do you want? One. Just four grapes? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, one. Two, three, four. Four grapes. What's that? One. Happy birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> good morning, honey. Oh, you want hug? Up. Up. Yay! Eat. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I'm a little tired. We just woke up, we just did breakfast with the boys, and this is about as tough of a lighting environment you're ever gonna face. You've got some early morning light out there, uh, some warm light up here, and all the colors are kind of jumbled together. So I'm gonna try to take some real world photos for y'all, and you can see how they turn out, so here we go. So I wanted to add some commentary to these pictures. You'll notice that I include my settings along with a couple tips for each shot. So if you wanna read through those, you can pause the video and take a look. That's right, the light was really bad. Even with my white balance set, the colors were all over the place. And so in a situation like this, I really like to use black and white or monochrome. So in the next couple weeks, I'll put together a really detailed tutorial to show you guys how I set up my camera to shoot in black and white. You'll notice with the settings that I shoot in manual mode, I have my aperture set to f1.4, which is the lowest aperture I can use with my particular lens. And I also have my ISO bumped up to around 1600 uh, when I'm around the table with some natural light and 3200 when I'm in a darker room. As for the shutter speed, I kept it around one over 200 and one over 250 in order to have a shutter speed fast enough to freeze the movements of little kids like this. <laughs> hey, wait. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Open those fingers up. Open them up. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Shoot From The Hip. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. I do my best to get back to everybody. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can see my videos each week in your feed. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Happy clicking. See you next time. Booyah.